God bless you everybody. Good morning. Habari za asubuhi kila mmoja. The king bless you. Mfalme na habariki. We thank God. Tuamshukuru Mungu for this day that he has made. Kwa ajili ya siku hii ya leo ambayo yeye mwenyewe kaifanya. It is not good luck. Sio bahati nzuri that we are here today. Kwamba tuko hapa leo. It was planned before we were created. Ikapangiwa kabla ya sisi kuumbwa. We are only fulfilling God's will. Tuatimiza tu mapenzi ya Mungu. And blessed be Jesus name. Na jina la Yesu libarikiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. We are based on the Bible if you are here for the first time. Kama uko hapa ni mara ya kwanza misingi yetu ni ya Biblia. We worship God. Sisi humuabudu Mungu. Everything here is worship. Kila tufanyacho hapa ni ibada. I will not worship God on your behalf. Sitamuabudu Mungu kwa niaba yako. You love to worship him on your own behalf. Itakubidi wewe ukamwabudu kwa niaba yako mwenyewe. Here you didn't come for us to pray for you. Hapa haukuja tukufanyie maombi. We show you how you can reach God yourself. Tutakuonyesha jinsi ya kumfikia Mungu wewe mwenyewe. Praise the Lord. Amen. I've been teaching on one lesson that is very vast. Nimekuwa napunza juu kuhusu somo moja ambalo ni pana sana. Restoration. Uwisho ama urejesho. Urejesho. Jesus told the Jews. Yesu kawaambia Wayahudi. You made a mistake. Mmekosea. Because you did not know God's timing of visiting you. Kwa sababu hamkutambua wakati wa Mungu ama nyakati za Mungu kuwatembeleeni. We have prayed tumeomba that we may know what his will is. Ili tukaweze kujua mapenzi yake ni nini. So we walk across. Ili twende naye. In Israel, kule Israeli, the 12 tribes, makabila yale 12 There was one special one. Kulikuwa na kabila moja maalum. It was called Isaka. Kabila likaitwa kabila la Isaka. This tribe was given gifts of knowing the timings of God. Hili kabila likapewa kipawa cha kuijua nyakati ya Mungu. Israel depended on them. Israeli kawategemea what he was about to do. Kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa anaenda kufanya. And they prepared the people of God for God's visitation. Na wakawaandaa watu wa Mungu ili kutembelewa na Mungu. But since Pentecost, lakini tangu Pentecoste, everybody, everybody became Isaka. Kila mmoja akawa ni Isaka. Each one of us, kila mmoja wetu will get the understanding about what God is doing currently. Atapata kuelewa kitu ambacho Mungu anafanya kwa sasa. Not get ready because God is about to do something. Sio yeye kuwa tayari Mungu ako karibu kutenda. Ah, ah. La. He is doing it now. Anatenda sasa hivi. Praise the Lord. Ah, hallelujah. Ours is to enter. Yetu ni kuingia tu. But how do we enter? Lakini tunaingiaje? Kwa njia gani? Not with prayer. Sio kwa maombi. With worship. Tunaingia kwa ibada kwa kuabudu. With say worship. Sema na kwa kuabudu. Say it again. Sema tena. When you come before God, tunapokuja mbele za Mungu, we come like David. Tuaja kama Daudi. The Lord. Ni Bwana. The first word is the Lord. Neno la kwanza ni Bwana. Not I come, I I come, I come. Sio Lord, mimi. Uh, Sio no, mimi. When we go ni Bwana to pray or to worship kila we don't begin with ourselves kila tuendapo kuomba ama kuabudu we were self contented and self made why do we go to god kama tungekuwa twajitosheleza basi Bwana atamuendea Mungu we go to god because we were created so toenda kwa Mungu kwa sababu tukaumbwa vile so we begin with the lord basi tunaanza na Bwana say the lord Say it again. Bwana. Not Lord but the Lord. Sio Bwana lakini yule Bwana. There are many lords even in England. Bwana ni wengi kule Uingereza. There even the house of lords in England. Hata kule Uingereza kuna nyumba ya mabwana. This one is the Lord of Lords. 
Huyu ni bwana wa mabwana. Hallelujah. Amina. So when we say the Lord, kwa hivyo tunaposema bwana, we don't say Lord, Lord de la Mer. Hatusemi bwana de la Mer. We say the Lord himself. Tunasema bwana mwenyewe. Alone himself. Bwana mwenyewe. Say the Lord. Yule bwana. Now you must add that the Lord Jesus. Say the Lord Jesus. Lazima uongeze bwana Yesu. When we say it, tunapoisema, it becomes part of us. Yakuwa ni sehemu yetu. When we say it, tunapoisema, it becomes in our blood. Yakuwa ndani ya damu yetu. When we say it, tunapoitaja, it becomes our minds. Yaingia kwenye akili zetu. When we say it, tunapoisema, it becomes our dreams. Yakuwa ndio ndoto zetu. When we say it, tunapoisema, it becomes our song. Yakuwa ni wimbo wetu. When we say it, tunapoisema, everything is in the name of the Lord. Kila kitu kiko ndani ya jina la Bwana. The prophet Joel was told to tell Israel's people kuambia Israeli na watu wake That said the Lord Hivi asema Bwana I will restore to you nitawarejesheni I will restore back to you nitawarejesheni You had it Mlikuwa nayo you lost it mkaipoteza You had it Mlikuwa nayo but you parted from it Lakini mkaipoteza But now I am restoring it back Lakini sasa nairudisha Not if you pray. Sio kama mkiomba. No. La, I am doing it myself. Naifanya mwenyewe. For it is my time. Kwa sababu ni wakati wangu mimi. I'm doing it for my name's sake. Naifanya kwa ajili ya jina langu. For my name's sake. Kwa ajili ya jina langu. It's my pleasure. Ni starehe yangu to do it. Kuifanya. It's my time. Ni wakati wangu to do it. Kuifanya. It's my will. Ni mapenzi yangu to do it. Kuifanya. People now come. Watu sasa waje. Enjoy what God is doing. Wafurahie Mungu anachotenda. And you become part of what God is doing. Na unakuwa sehemu ya kile Mungu anachotenda. Hallelujah. Amina. Open the book of Ezekiel 30. Fungua kitabu cha Ezekiel 30. Please open Ezekiel 30. Fungua Ezekiel 30. I know you are waiting for the second song or the third song. Najua ngojea wimbo wa wili wa pili na watatu. But here we go as the Holy Spirit leads. Lakini hapa tuenda kulingana na muongozo wake Roho Mtakatifu. You will you you will sing later. Nyimbo ni baadaye. We will sing later. Tutaimba baadaye. Ezekiel 30. Ezekiel 30. Something is pushing me here. Kuna kitu kinanisukuma hapa. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. verse 26 <laughs> I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries Nami nitawatawanya wa Misri kati ya mataifa na kuwatapanya kati ya nchi mbalimbali And they shall know that I am the Lord Nao watajua ya kuwa mimi ndimi Bwana And they shall know that I am the Lord nao watajua kwamba mimi ndimi bwana i am doing it to inform them whom i am nafanya mambo haya ili kuwajua wa, wakaweze kutambua mimi ndiye nani i am the lord mimi ndimi bwana think of it again and again fikiria hayo tena na tena what are we doing here today je leo tafanya nini hapa is because he is lord ni kwa sababu yeye ni bwana that's why we are here ndio kwa sababu tuko hapa The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Not our shepherd. Sio mchungaji wetu. Today make him your shepherd. Leo mfanye mchungaji wako kibinafsi. Your own shepherd. Mchungaji wako binafsi. Because you are not you. Kwa sababu wewe sio wewe. You are his. Wewe ni wake. Secondly I would like you to know this. La pili ningetaka ujue hivi. Here we are not saying what he has done for others. Hapa hatusemi alichowatendea wengine. He will do for you. Atakutendea nawe pia. I say we say that because we are quoting others. Nasema twasema hivyo kwa sababu wao tunawanukuu wengine. But here this revelation. Lakini sikia ufunuo huu. The answer is no. Jibu ni la. I want you to be different. Nataka wewe uwe ni tofauti. Because you are not others. Kwa sababu wewe sio wengine. You are special. Wewe ni maalum. Say I am special. Sema mimi ni maalum. The same man who wrote this psalm. Mtu huyu huyu aliyeandika zaburi hii. He said, akasema, "Look, tazama. I'm wonderfully and 
Mimi nikaumbwa kwa njia ya ajabu na kustaajabisha. I am very special. Mimi ni mtu maalum sana. Tell yourself. Jiambie mwenyewe. I am special. Mimi ni maalum. Tell yourself so. Jiambie hivyo. It's not humility. Sio unyenyekevu. When you say I'm nothing, I'm nobody. Unaposema oh mimi si kitu, mimi ni bure. It's pride hiding. Ni kiburi kilichojificha. Say what the Lord has made you. Sema kile Mungu alichokufanya. Say what the Lord has made you. Sema Mungu alichokufanya wewe. He is God. Yeye ndiye Mungu. Then we begin from there. Kisha tuanza hapo. And we come down. Alafu tushuka. And while we are singing that song, I am the Lord, you are the Lord. Tulipo hapo, tulipofika hapo tuasema wewe niwe Bwana. We reach a place. Tafika mahali. Where you enter and you see signs of destruction. Ambapo tuaingia na kuona ishara za uharibifu. And yet that is the only road you must go. Na hiyo ndio njia lazima upitie. You can't have another road. Hawezi kupata njia nyingine. He will not let you die. Hata kuacha ufe. Before he gets the glory. Kabla yeye kuupata utukufu. Why you are still alive? Uangali wakati ungali hai. He will not take away the storm. Hata yondoa dhoruba. But that's the way you must go. Lakini hiyo ndio njia lazima upitie. He will say son, daughter, unasema anasema binti yangu mwanangu. Pass through it. Pitie njia hiyo. Because before the storm was. Kwa sababu kabla hiyo dhoruba kuwa, I knew it will be there. Nikajua itakuwepo. And I'm leading you through it. Nami nakuongoza ukaipitia. I'm leading you through it. Nakuongoza kuipitia. He may not take away the storm. Yawezekana asiondoe dhoruba. He will save you through in the storm. Lakini atakuokoa ndani ya dhoruba. Asante bwana. The Lord. Yeye bwana. Daniel. Daniel. You will be thrown into the lion's den. Utatupwa kwenye tundu la simba. He says. Anasema. Lion's den. Tundu la simba. I didn't make it. Mimi sikulitengeneza tundu hilo. You did it. Hiyo ni kazi yako. One thing I will never do. Kitu kimoja sitawaifanya. I never worship your gods. Sitawai abudu miungu yako. And he was thrown in. Na akatupwa ndani. He had a voice. Akaisikia sauti. Son, mwanangu, I'm here. Niko hapa. <laughs> Hallelujah. The elements of nature don't change him. Hali ya anga haimbadilishi. The fire does not change him. Moto haumbadilishi. Your tests don't change him. Your tests and trials. Majaribu yako hayambadilishi. This anger which is now completely corrupted hali ya anga ambayo sasa imebadilika kabisa has not changed him haijambadilisha yeye yeah though i walk through the valley of coronavirus na mijapopita kando ya uvuli wa coronavirus i shall fear no evil sitaogope mabaya for you are with me kwani wewe pamoja nami and if i die kama nitakufa Satan will be the loser. Shetani ndiye atakuwa amepoteza. I'll go to heaven directly. Naenda mbinguni moja kwa moja. So we are not afraid because we may die. Kwa hivyo hatuogopi yetu tutaweza kufa. No. La. It is it is it is planned for us once to die. Tumepangiwa mara moja sisi kufa. Death is a bridge to the other world. Kifo ni daraja ya kuingia ulimwengu mwingine. You are not a loser. Wewe haujapoteza. So death is not the last thing. Kwa hivyo kifo sio kitu cha mwisho. Daniel and his friends Daniel na marafiki zake refuse to worship another god. Walikataa kumwabudu Mungu mwingine. They were thrown into the fire. Wakatupwa motoni. And the fire was lit and made fear seven times more. Na moto ukafanya kuwa mkali mara saba zaidi ya kawaida. The more the trials Zidi majaribu yalivyo makali. The more you will enjoy the presence of God. Ndivyo na utazidi kufurahia uwepo wa Mungu. He may not send an angel. Yawezekana asimtume malaika. He will come himself. Atakuja mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Amina.
when they were thrown in there walipotupwa mle ndani the fire burnt only the ropes moto uliteketeza kamba peke yake that tied them ambao walifungwa nayo but their clothing lakini mavazi yao even their hair hata na nywele zao you could not smell the fire haungenukia hata moshi and they were not there stagnant na wako pale wamekauka they were walking walikuwa wanatembea through the fire ndani ya moto they were not praying hawako wakiomba they were walking walikuwa watembea through the fire ndani ya moto why am i saying this bora nasema hivi because in kenya you have been told kwa sababu kenya tunaambiwa unless you pray usipomba unless you pray usipomba you will perish utaangamia no i will not perish la sitaangamia let me give you something here acha nikupe kitu hapa because jesus kwa sababu yesu my high priest Kuhani wangu mkuu sitting at the right hand of God the Father aliyekaa kwa mkono wa kumu wa Mungu Baba is now praying for me sasa yuo niombea and God answers the prayers of his son na Mungu yoajibu maombi ya mwanae so don't talk about being lost kwa hivyo usizungumzie mambo ya kupotea talk about living here the christian life zungumzia mambo ya kuishi hapo maisha ya kikristo so i can be a testimony kwa hivyo naweza kuwa ushuhuda the god of the bible is true kwamba Mungu wa Biblia ni wa kweli but the fires lakini mioto You will find him there. Moto utaipata. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amina. That fire in your house. Moto huo ndani ya nyumba yako. Does not change him. Haumbadilishi. That financial fire. Moto huo wa kifedha. Does not change him. Haumbadilishi. The political change fire. Moto huo wa mabadiliko ya siasa. Doesn't change him. Haumbadilishi. The economic fire. Moto wa kiuchumi. Doesn't change him. Haumbadilishi. I'm hearing his voice. Naisikia sauti yake. Even though you are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Don't fear evil. Usiogope mabaya. I am the Lord. Mimi nimi bwana. I am with you. Niko pamoja nawe. Hallelujah. Amina. Now his name currently is Emmanuel. Sasa jina lake kwa sasa ni Emmanuel. He came to us. Akaja kwetu. To become like us. Awe kama sisi. To be with us. Kuwa nasi. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God with us. Mungu aliye nasi. Not God without God. Sio Mungu asiye nasi. Not without us. Sio Mungu asiye nasi. God with us. Mungu aliye nasi. Say with your own mouth God is with me. Sema na mdomo wako Mungu yu pamoja nami. Say it again. Mungu yu pamoja nami. And the devil can change that. Na shetani hawezi ibadilisha hii. Demons can change that. Mapepo hayawezi ibadilisha. We just can change that. Warogi hawawezi kuibadilisha. The Lord is with me. Bwana yu pamoja nami. Hallelujah. Amina. The Lord is with me. Bwana yu pamoja nami. The economy is going wrong. Uchumi ni mbaya. But he is with me. Lakini yu pamoja nami. Politics is not in my favor. Siasa hazinipendelei. But he is with me. Lakini yu pamoja nami. The air I breathe is spoiled. Hewa ninayoivuta imebaharibika. But he is with me. Lakini yu pamoja nami. Friends have turned their backs on me. Marafiki wamenigeuzia mgongo. But he is with me. Lakini yu pamoja nami. This same man David said. Huyu mtu huyu Daudi asema. My father and my mother may reject me. Baba yangu na mama yangu waweza wakanikataa. But the Lord will take care of me. Lakini Bwana atanishughulikia. Hallelujah. Amina. Your wife may turn his, her back on you. Mke wako aweza kukuacha because of what you are now. Kwa sababu ya kile ulicho sasa. But she does not take God from you. Lakini haondoi Mungu kwako. God remains with you. Mungu anabaki na wewe. She can also say God is with me. Anaweza pia kusema Mungu yupo pamoja nami. That is not a quarrel. Hayo sio mabishano. And I'm going to say so. Kila mtu aweza kusema hivyo. Oh yes. Kweli? Your husband may turn his back on you. Mume wako aweza kukuacha. Because of this kind of religion they say. Kwa sababu ya aina ya dini hii wanayosema. They want he wants a good quiet nice religion. Anataka dini nzuri yenye ukimia. Not this hallelujah amen. Sio hii kelele kelele hallelujah. But believe you me. Lakini heri uniamini. He will be the reason why the Lord will be closer to you. Itakuwa ndio sababu Mungu awe karibu nawe zaidi. The Lord is with me. Bwana yu pamoja nami. He is my shepherd. Yeye ndiye mchungaji wangu. He is my shepherd. Ndiye mchungaji wangu. Sheep does not look for pasture. Kondoo hawaitafuti nyasi. 
It is a goat who run around looking for something. Kondoo ndio utanga tanga wakitafuta mlo. Is a goat. Ni mbuzi samahani. Sheep does not go to look for grazing place. Kondoo hawaendi kuyatafuta malisho. They are taken there. Wanaongozwa pale. They are taken there. Wanapelekwa kwenye malisho. Sheep does not run away from the slaughter. Kondo hawatoroki kutoka katika kichinjio. You can come with panga. Waweza kuja na panga and sheep is going to be killed. Na kondo anaenda kukatwa shingo. They will walk to where they are being killed. Watatembea waende kukatwa shingo. You. Wewe and me. Pamoja nami. We sisi are the flock. Ndio malisho of kondo. God. Ma kondo wa Mungu. And the shepherd said na mchungaji asema Don't be afraid you little flock. Msiogopi enyi kusajiko ndogo la kondoo. Because it is your father's pleasure. Kwa sababu ni raha ama mapenzi ya baba yenu. To give you the kingdom. Kuwapeni ufalme. It is your father's pleasure. Ni mapenzi ya baba yenu. To give you the kingdom. Kuwapeni na ufalme. It is given. Inapeanwa. We don't seek for it. Hauitafuti. It is given. Imepeanwa. We are born there. Tumezaliwa pale. Someone wanted to join. Mtu alitaka kujiunga. He wanted to join. Alitaka kujiunga. During the days of Jesus. Nyakati za Yesu. But he was told frankly. Lakini akaambiwa wazi wazi. Governor. Governor. Here you don't join. Hapa haujiungi. Here you get born. Hapa unazaliwa. You get born here. Hapa ni kuzaliwa. You don't join. Haujiungi. You may join a church. Yawezekana ujiunge na kanisa. But you can't join God. Lakini uweze jiunga na Mungu. You get born there. Unazaliwa mle. You can join an organization. Waweza kujiunga na kundi fulani. But here you can't join. Lakini hapa uwezi kujiunga. Here you are born. Hapa ni kuzaliwa. Even when you are a baby. Hata wakati wewe ni mtoto. You are cared for. Unachungwa. You are budgeted for. Unakadiriwa. Every future thing is budgeted for. Kila kila kitu chako cha uzoni kimekadiriwa. So you can say like him. Kwa hivyo uweze kusema kama huyu. I shall not want Sita pungukiwa na kitu. Tomorrow may not be the same. Kesho kesho iwezekana isiwe vile vile. I shall not want. Lakini sita pungukiwa. Hallelujah. Amina. Today, leo hii. He restores my soul. You are uwisha nafsi yangu. Why? Kwa nini? Because my soul gets tired. Kwa sababu nafsi yangu yachoka. David prayed Lord, Daudi kaomba Bwana, restore to me the joy of salvation. Nirejeshe na furaha ya wokovu. He had lost it. Alikuwa kaipoteza. Not wokovu, he had lost it, the joy. Alikuwa ameipoteza furaha sio wokovu wenyewe. For the kingdom of God. Kwa sababu falme wa Mungu is not eating and drinking. Sio kula na kunywa. But love lakini upendo peace amani and joy na furaha in the holy spirit ndani yake roho mtakatifu he discovered he was no longer happy the way he used to be akagundua ana raha tena jinsi alivyokuwa naye because of the circumstances kwa sababu ya hali lord bwana restore nirejeshe to me nirejeshe the joy of your salvation raha ya wokovu and god wants to restore the joy of salvation in your life mungu anataka kuirejesha raha ya wokovu maishani mwako keep ask my friends kila mara wauliza marafiki zangu how can anyone be here in Nairobi in Kenya walking without god je inawezekanaje mtu kuwa Kenya Nairobi ya leo na anatembea na hana mungu the weather is against us hali ya anga iko kinyume nasi no one wants to remain a friend hamna mtu anataka kuwa rafiki yako if you keep shaking people's hands ukiendelea kuwasilimia watu mikono they will begin to be aware of you wataanza kuwa chonjo nawe what does he want ni nini anatafuta? Anataka nini? They look at you with suspicion. Wanakuangalia wakikushuku. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, trust is no longer there. Hamna uaminifu tena. But I have a shepherd. Lakini ninaye mchungaji. Thank you Father. Hallelujah. I have a shepherd. Ninaye mchungaji. And I want to say Nataka niseme in the presence of the devil mbele ya uwepo wa shetani the lord is my shepherd bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu i want to say 
Nataka niseme. Where demons are. Mahali mapepo wapo. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Nataka niseme. Where economics have gone wrong. Mahali uchumi umeharibika. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. I want to say. Nataka niseme. When people are fighting who will win and go to state house. Wakati watu wanapigana nani atashinda aende ikulu. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. That's my testimony. Ndio ushuhuda wangu. That's my song. Ndio wimbo wangu. That's my choir. Ndio choir yangu. That's my way of life. Ndio njia yangu ya maisha. During the night, usiku is my shepherd. Ndiye mchungaji wangu. During the day, mchana the Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Beginning of the year, mwanzo wa mwaka, end of the year, mwisho wa mwaka. Asante Yesu. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Please say it. Tafadhali seme. When you say it, unapoisema, it becomes part of you. Ya kuwa ni sehemu yako. When you say it, unapoitaja, become part of it. Ya wasam wewe unakuwa sehemu yako. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. How did you get born again? Je, ikakuwaje ukaokoka? It is the way you said it. Ni jinsi ulivyoisema. Lord, Bwana, forgive me. Nisamehe. I receive you into my heart. Na kupokea moyoni mwangu. And you got born again. Ukaokoka. Now, sasa keep going that way. Endelea hivyo hivyo. Since I got born again. Tangu nizaliwa mara ya pili. By saying, kwa kusema. I'm still born again. Bado nimeokoka. By what I said. Kwa kile nilichosema. Now while I'm going on. Sasa wakati naendelea. There is a saying I must say every day. Lazima niendelee kusema jana. He who sent me. Yeye aliyeniokoa. He is my shepherd. Yeye ndiye mchungaji. You forgive me. Yeye aliyenisamehe. He is my shepherd. Ndiye mchungaji wangu. You cleanse me. Aliyenitakasa. He is my shepherd. Ndiye mchungaji wangu. The preacher's prayer. Sio maombi ya mhubiri. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. The perfect prayer. Sio maombi ya nabii. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. Someone called me on the phone. Mtu kanipigia simu. Said man of God I'm in Eldoret. Sema mtu wa Mungu niko Eldoret. I'm in trouble. Niko na shida. I said why? Kauliza kwa nini? Because a prophetess, kwa sababu nabii wa kike, anointed me with oil. Kanipaka mafuta kichwani. When she anointed me with oil, aliponipaka yale mafuta, and pronounced me blessed. Na kanitangaza nimebarikiwa. Things began to walk on me. Mambo yakaanza kutambaa. Things, I feel things walking in me. Nasikia vitu, vitu vinanitambaa. In my clothing, kwenye nguo zangu, in my hair, kwenye kichwa changu but they are not there lakini sio ni chochote no one can see them hamna wezae kuviona but i know they are walking on me lakini nasikia vikinitambaa as they are walking in my veins vingine vinatembea ndani ya mishipa yangu pray for me niombe i said no i will not pray for you nikamwambia la sitakuombea pray for yourself wewe jiombe because those things are not walking in me kwa sababu hizo vitu havitembei ndani yangu you are the one who is feeling it wewe ndio vinakutembelea god the one who put them there nenda kwa aliyeziweka he has power to take them away yeye ndiye ana uwezo ya kuziondoa he said no they have no more power to take them away akasema la hawawezi kuviondoa they have prayed but things have refused to go wameomba bado vyanitambaa why kwa nini because you gave yourself to them kwa sababu wewe ulijitoa kwao you became a vessel ukawa chombo and they anointed you wakakupaka mafuta get miracles ili upate miujiza and they put things there na wakaweka vitu pale i warn you na kutahadharisha because i love you kwa sababu nakupenda don't go to every preacher who is praying for you to become rich usiende kwa mhubiri yoyote ambaye anakuombea eti uwe tajiri you are rich wewe ni tajiri And in Kenya today you pray is not free. Na hapa Kenya ya leo maombi sio bure. You pay. Walipa. You may come back. Yaweza ukarudi. Feeling things walking on you. Ukivisikia vitu vya kutambaa. They put them there so that you can go again. Wanakuachia vitu hivi ili ukawarudie tena. It is witchcraft. Ni uchawi. So they are the only ones who can take them away. Wao tu ndio waweza kuziondoa. It's witchcraft. Ni uchawi. Today leo hii I will tell you what to do. Nitakwambia la kufanya. Say to those things. Viambie hivyo vitu. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. They will go away. Vitaondoka. They can't stay where the Lord is. Haviwezi kama mahali Mungu yuko. No. Haviwezi. No, no, no. And the Lord can't share you with demons. Naye Bwana hawezi kukushiriki wewe na mapepo. He is a jealous God. Yeye ni Mungu mwenye wivu. He can share you with the devils. Hawezi kukutumikia wewe pamoja na mapepo. Yeye ni Mungu mwenye wivu. Hallelujah. Amina. 
The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. He restores my soul. Amen. Yeye irejesha nafsi yangu. My soul is tired. Nafsi yangu imechoka. Through the things I see. Kupitia mambo ninayoyaona. My soul is tired. Nafsi yangu yachoka. Through the things I hear. Kwa mambo ninayoyasikia. My life is tired. Nafsi yangu imechoka. Through the things I see on television. Kwa mambo ninayoyaona kwenye runinga. And what I read on newspapers. Na ninayosoma kwenye magazeti. The things to come are very difficult. Mambo yajayo ni magumu sana. So people are dying before they die. Basi watu wanakufa kabla ya kifo chao kufika. They are walking dead. Wanatembea lakini wamekufa. But when God restores your soul. Lakini Mungu anapoirejesha nafsi yako. You will live fully one day at a time. Utaishi kikamilifu siku moja baada ya siku. You will not remember your past failures. Hautakumbuka siku zako za kushindwa. The Bible says he will make you so happy. Biblia inasema atakujaza furaha tele. That you will no longer have time to think on your failure when you were young. Kwamba hautakuwa na wakati wa kukumbuka kushindwa kwako ulipokuwa mchanga. As I was seeking the leading of the Holy Spirit what I should say today. Ilipokuwa na utafuta mwongozo wake Roho Mtakatifu kwamba niseme nini siku ya leo. He left me alone. Akaniacha. I tried two or three things. Nikajaribu mambo mawili matatu. Then I said Lord, kisha nikasema Bwana, I don't feel my spirit is safe. Sisikii kwamba roho yangu iko salama. Tell me what I should tell your people today. Niambie niwaambie watu wako nini leo. Go tell them. Nenda akawaambie. I am with them. Mimi niko pamoja nao. Hallelujah. Amen. And wherever he is, na popote alipo, things can't be the same. Mambo hayawezi kubaki yalivyo. Asante Bwana. Let me now tell you the real truth. Acha sasa nikupe ukweli kamili. Your participation is not needed here. Kuhusika kwako hakuhitajiki hapa. Only acceptance. Ni wewe kukubali tu. Receive what God has for you. Pokea kile Mungu alichonacho kwa ajili yako. Somebody stopped him. Mtu akamsimamisha. He said, "What can I do for you?" Akamuuliza, "Nikufanyie nini?" "What do you want me to do for you?" "Wataka nikufanyie nini?" The man said, "Uyu bwana akasema, "Lord, bwana, I want to receive my sight." Nataka kuona. The Lord said with his own lips, "Bwana akasema kwa mdomo wake, "Receive your sight." Pokea kuona kwako. Where was that sight? Huko kuona kwake kulikuwa wapi? The mouth of the Lord. Kwenye mdomo wa Bwana. When he spoke it, kisha kaunena. Oh God. Hallelujah. Mm. Sight was in his mouth. Kuona kulikuwa ndani ya mdomo wa Yesu. Receive it. Pokea. You. Wewe. Your need in his mouth. Itaji lako ndani ya mdomo wake. Now sasa receive your need. Pokea itaji lako. Receive it now. Pokea sasa. Amina. It is in his lips. Iko ndani ya mdomo wake. I am wake. quoting him. Namnukuu. I am quoting him. Namnukuu yes. Receive it now. Ipokea sasa. You have prayed. Umeomba. He has heard. Amesikia. He has answered. Amejibu. Your part is to receive. Lengo yako ni kupokea. Receive now. Pokea sasa. Receive the answer. Pokea jibu. Receive now. Lipokea sasa. It is in his mouth. Lipo mdomoni mwake. Hallelujah. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Lord I receive. Bwana napokea. Lord I receive. Bwana napokea. Lord I receive. Bwana napokea. In your name I receive. Ndani ya jina lako napokea. My need has been met. Hitaji langu limelipata. I receive the answer. Nalipokea jibu. My need has been met. Hitaji langu limepata. I receive the answer. Nalipokea jibu. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. Tafadhali kiti. Sante bwana. Mzee mkongo yufa mkayole. Mzee nakupigia kutoka Kayole. My pastor. 
mchungaji wangu mimi ni mchungaji i've been reading the bishops and pastors messages nimekuwa nazisoma jumbe za maskofu na wachungaji they're asking for money wanaomba pesa some of them the rent have not been paid for three months wengine wao kodi yao haijalipiwa kwa miezi mitatu why have you not put your thing on one of the groups mbona wewe haujaweka mahitaji yako kwenye when you came here you blessed me so much ulipokuja hapa ukanibariki sana and i've been looking for your name nimekuwa natafuta jina lako kwenye mitandao to see your name so that i can pray ili nione mahitaji yako likaweze kuomba i actually left kwa hakika nilicheka i left my room and i said hold on because i want to be in the right place where the network is proper nikamwambia ngojea nataka niwe mahali ambapo mawasiliano ni bora i said say that again nikamuuliza hebu rudia tena i want to make sure he knows what he's talking about nilitaka kuhakikisha anajua anachokisema he repeated it aka kirudia you bless me when you were here ulipokuwa huku uliniubariki i want to pray for you this needy time nataka nikuombee nyakati hizi za mahitaji i don't see your name in the list of things lakini sioni na litafuta jina lako silioni popote i told him brother nikamwambia ndugu i like your sincerity na upenda ukweli wako but my name is not in the groups lakini jina langu haliko kwenye mitandao no i'm not in the groups siko kwenye mitandao i'm alone niko peke yangu and i don't have those needs na mahitaji hayo mimi sina i am god's need mimi ni hitaji la mungu you david says you have done this daudi kasema ukayatenda haya for your name's sake kwa ajili ya jina lako he has kept me alive yeye kaniweka hai for his name's sake kwa ajili ya jina lake he has given me the gift of joy kanipa na kipawa cha kufurahia for his name's sake kwa ajili ya jina lake he has healed me yeye kanipa for his name's sake kwa ajili ya jina lake asante bwana Did you hear that? Je, umesikia? My name is not in mitandao. Jina langu haliko kwenye mitandao. I am recorded in the book of life in heaven. Mimi jina langu limeandikwa kwenye kitabu cha uzima mbinguni. And the enemy can't go there to rub it off. Na adui hawezi fika pale alifute. He is not allowed near there. Haruhusiwi kukaribia pale. Then why has God left me here? basi bwana Mungu kaniacha hapa for his names kwa ajili ya jina lake <laughs> asante bwana mm. why are we born again mbona tukazaliwa mara ya pili for his name's sake kwa ajili ya jina lake not so that you may go to heaven si ili kwamba ukaende mbinguni why haven't you gone kama ni mbinguni basi mbona haujakwenda what are you doing here unafaa nini hapa You were born again for his name's sake. Wewe kazaliwa mara ya pili kwa ajili ya jina lake. He told Israel. Kaiambia Israeli, you are my testimony. Wewe ndiye ushuhuda wangu. You are my wonders. Wewe ndiye ajabu yangu. When people see you they see my works. Watu wakikuona wanaiona kazi yangu. Asante Yesu. Jesus said the same thing. Yesu kayasema mambo yale yale. Fear not you little flock. Msiogopi enyi kusanyiko ndogo. It is your father's pleasure. Ni starehe ama raha ya baba yenu. To give you the kingdom. Kuwapeni ufalme. It is your father's pleasure. Ni raha ya baba yenu. To give you the kingdom. Kuwapeni ufalme. You are the pleasure of God. Wewe ndiye raha ya Mungu. As you walk across, unapotembea, the father says, Baba asema, Angels, malaika, look at that one. Muangalieni huyo. It's my son ni mwanangu look at that one muone huyo as my daughter ni binti yangu look at that one muone yule ay 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 hallelujah and the angels fight to come to your aid na malaika wanapigana wanangangana kukukimbilia wewe kukusaidia because they are servants kwa sababu wao ni watumishi who keep security of the saints ambao uwalinda wateule in that matatu ndani ya matatu ile a special angel is ordered Malaika maalumu anatumwa because you are in it kwa sababu wewe uko ndani ya matatu ile that location mali unapokaa angels around you malaika wanakuzunguka because of you kwa sababu yako wewe you 
alone. Wewe peke yako. Hear me again. Nisikie tena. You alone. Kwa sababu yako peke yako. God does not love me more than he loves you. Mungu hanipendi kukuliko wewe. No. La. He loves us the same. Anatupenda sawia. What's different is our reactions. Tofauti ni tunavyomuitikia yeye. He loves us the same. Anatupenda sawia. But I'm not more spiritual than you. Lakini mimi sio wa kiroho kuliko. No. La. Is the way I was brought up. Ni jinsi nilivyokuzwa. When I go to Kambani, nikienda ukambani, I enjoy it. Nafurahia. Because you can't play pro- guitar proper. Kwa sababu huwezi cheza gitaa vizuri. And sing like myself. Na uimbe kama mzee. And I'm come stand there like that. Na mkamba asimame anakukodolea mali. That's not his way of life. Sio kawaida ya maisha yake. When you sing well, kinimba vizuri, he will begin. Mkamba ataanza kutegisa mabega. But it's not more spiritual than you. Lakini yeye sio wa kiroho kuliko wewe. There are those who believe that when you are really spiritual you keep quiet, you look up, you don't even blink. Kuna wale ambao wanaamini kama wewe ni wa kiroho unasimama unakauka kama mti unaangalia juu hata macho unakodoa. And the longer you stay awake na unapozidi kukaa macho the more glorious should become. Ndivyo unazidi kuwa utukufu. You're just making it. Huko ni kuigiza tu. Time has come. Wakati umefika. For you to react. Kwako wewe kuitikia. Haleluya! Haleluya! You must react. Lazima uitikie. Let me show you a secret. Acha nikuonyeshe siri. You are created to worship him. Kumwabudu yeye. And there are many things which will hinder you. Na kuna mengi ambayo yatakuzuia. They will not hinder you when the choir is singing. Hayatakuzuia wakati kwaya inaimba. It will not hinder you when some good preacher is preaching. Hayatakuzuia wakati mhubiri mzuri anahubiri. But it will hinder you from worshiping your creator. Lakini wakati unaanza kuabudu yatakuzuia. A woman came. A woman came. Mwanamke akaja. She couldn't find Jesus. Hangempata Yesu. He was surrounded by people. Alikuwa amezungukwa na watu. Many people. Watu wengi halaiki. Strong men. Wanaume wenye nguvu. She could not reach him. Hangeweza kumfikia. And she was not the kind of woman that could go to church. Na hangekuwa aina ya mwanamke ambaye alikubaliwa kanisani. The synagogue did not want her. Synagogue haikumkubali. She heard Jesus. Akamsikia Yesu. She came. Akaja. People had hindered her. Watu walikuwa wamemzuia. She be crawl. Akatembea kwa magoti. In the middle of the people. Katikati ya miguu ya watu. She crawl. Akatembea kwa magoti. And something told her you are almost there. Kitu kikamwambia karibu wafika. She crawled more. Akaendelea kwa magoti. Ha ha told her one more step. Moyo wake ukamwambia hatua nyingine moja. Finally. Mwishowe she reached. Akafika where the feet of Jesus were. Hali miguu ya Yesu ilipokuwa. She reached. Akafika at the feet of Jesus. Kwenye miguu ya Yesu. The feet. The feet, Migu. not the hand. Sio mkono. The hand was for the stronger people. Mkono ulikuwa kwa watu wenye nguvu. Healthy people. Wenye afya. And those who had come to visit with him. Na wale walikuwa wamekuja kutembea na Yesu. They criticized her loudly. Wakamkosoa tena kwa sauti. Does this man know who that woman is? Huyu mtu je anajua huyu mwanamke ni nani? He is a truly true prophet. Kama kweli huyu ni nabii wa ukweli. Does he know who is touching it? Anajua, anajua sample ya nani huyu anamgusa? Jesus knew their hearts. Yesu kaijua mioyo yao. He told them. Kawajibu. Since I came here. Tangu niingie hapa. The owner of the house has not given me water to wash my feet. Mwenye nyumba hii hajanipa maji ya kunawa miguu yangu. It is Jewish custom. Ni tamaduni ya Wayahudi. When you enter the house, mgeni anapoingia kwa nyumba, you wash the feet. Unampa maji ananawa miguu. The owner of the house has not given me water to wash my feet. Mwenye nyumba hajanipa maji ya kunawia miguu. But this woman, 
lakini huyu mwanamke has washed my feet with her tears ameyosha miguu yangu kwa machozi yake because the greater the sinner you are kwa sababu jinsi ulivyo mwenye dhambi mkuu the more forgiveness you seek for hivyo ndivyo unahisi msamaha zaidi she was very sinful alikuwa mwenye dhambi sana so she has repented so much kwa hivyo akatubu sana she is forgiven amesamehewa and the lord said daughter na bwana akamwambia binti nenda nyumbani your sins be forgiven you dhambi zako umesamehewa hallelujah amina we are not here hatuko hapa to hear who is singing best kusikia nani anaimba vizuri zaidi because we are all best singers kwa sababu sisi wote ni waimbaji bora We are not here. Hatuko hapo. To hear worships better. Kusikia nani anaabudu zaidi. We worship according to our forgiveness. Tunaabudu kulingana na msamaha wetu. Aha. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ee ni bwana. Ee ni bwana. The Lord is my shepherd. Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu. During these corona days, nyakati hizi za corona I shall fear no evil. Sita ya ogopa maovu. So you are home, you are house. Kwa hivyo nyumbani kwako, boma yako. Your family, your family. Jamii yako. Your relatives. Wana ukoo wako. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Now they are safe in the midst of corona. Sasa wako salama katikati ya corona. They are safe in the midst of corona. Wako salama katikati ya corona. Fear no evil. Usiaogope maovu. Fear no evil. Usiaogope maovu. He is my shepherd. Yeye ndiye mchungaji wangu. He restores my soul. You are irrigation nafsi yangu. Ah oh, yes. Give me my hand club of them. Yes, Sante Yesu. Asifiwe Yesu. Hallelujah. Asifiwe Yesu. Amina. What am I doing here? Nafanya nini hapa? If he comes now kama akija sasa take his church home kulitoka kanisa lake nyumbani every one of us will go kila mmoja wetu ataenda but i think the children will go ahead of us lakini nadhani watoto watatangulia because they are very innocent manake hao hawana dhambi he is not coming to grab us hakuji kutupora taking us anatupeleka he is in no hurry wala ana haraka I want him to find me worshiping. Nataka anipate nikimwabudu. I want him to find me worshiping. Nataka anipate nikimwabudu. I want to bow down and say Lord here I am. Nataka nisujudu na niseme Bwana hapa nipo. Take me home. Nipeleke nyumbani. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's coming the second time. You aja mara ya pili. And none of you is remaining here. Na hamna hata mmoja wenu anayebaki hapa. We are all going. Sote tuwaenda. I say we are all going. Nasema sote tuwaenda. Because in this this time of restoration. Kwa sababu wakati huu wa urejesho. Whoever. Yeyote yule. Yeyote yule. Whoever. Yeyote yule. Whoever. Yeyote yule. Is addressing you. Anakuzungumzia wewe. You alone. Peke yako. Not all of you. Sio sote. Whoever. Yeyote yule. Who shall call upon the name of the Lord. Ataliita jina la Bwana. Shall be saved. Ataokolewa. Whoever. Yeyote yule. Shall call upon the Lord. Ataliita jina la Bwana. Whoever. Yeyote yule. You now must be yourself. Sasa we lazima uwe wewe mwenyewe. Say Lord. Useme Bwana. Whoever yeyote yule shall call upon the name of the Lord ataka jina la Bwana say lord bwana remember to say lord sema bwana finished kwisha you have addressed the king of the universe umemzungumzia mfalme wa ulimwengu you have addressed the creator ukamzungumzia muumba he who knows the amount of hair on your head yeye ajuae hesabu ya nyele kichwani pako. You been allowed to address him. Ukaruhusiwa kumzungumzia. Lord, Bwana, he will give you attention. Naye atakutilia mkazo. Before you pray, kabla wewe kuomba. Lord, Bwana, my back, mgongo wangu. Lord, Bwana, my pocket, mfuko wangu. Lord, Bwana, my head, kichwa changu. Lord, Bwana, my job, kazi yangu. Lord, Bwana, my business, biashara yangu. You are married yenye mlioa na kuolewa bwana my marriage ndoa yangu 
The rest he knows. Mengine anayajua. You can't tell him what he doesn't know about you. Hawezi kumwambia chochote ambacho hajui. He knows you more than you know yourself. Hakujua zaidi ujujuu wake mwenyewe. You don't know your future. Haujui kesho yako. He knows your future. Yeye yeah, anaijua. You remember wewe, your past. Wewe ukumbuka yaliyopita. Even though you are born again, ingawaje umezaliwa mara ya pili? You know your past. Uyakumbuka yaliyopita. But the Lord is so big. Lakini Bwana ni mkuu zaidi. He does not remember your past. Yeye yeah, hayakumbuki yaliyopita. He is so big. Yeye yeah, ni mkuu zaidi. He doesn't remember your past. Hayakumbuki yaliyopita. Asifiwe Yesu. Haleluya. I came here today nikaja hapa leo to lead you to worship him. Kuongozeni kumwabudu. And come here to pro, to preach to you so that you may be amazed. Sikuja hapa niwahubirie yeye timshangae. I'm a good preacher. Mimi ni mhubiri mzuri. But remember this. Lakini kumbuka hivi. I'm a worshiper because before I become a preacher. Kabla ya kuwa mhubiri mimi ni mwabudu. I'm a worshiper. Mimi ni mwabudu. I enjoy worshiping. Nafurahia kuwabudu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I am a worshiper. Mimi ni mwabudu. Today say Lord. Leo sema Bwana. You have begun to worship. Umeanza kuabudu. Lord. Bwana. You have begun to worship. Tayari umeanza. Yes, Lord. Bwana. Lord. Bwana. Jesus. Yes. Restore. Restore. Rejesha my soul. Irejeshe nafsi yangu. Restore my soul. Irejeshe nafsi yangu. Lord. Bwana, restore my soul. Irejeshe nafsi yangu. Now hear this a restored soul. Sasa sikia. Nafsi ile irejeshwa is a worshiping soul. Is a worshiping soul. Ni nafsi inayoabudu. A restored soul. Nafsi ile irejeshwa is a worshiping soul. Ni nafsi inayoabudu. And worship na kuabudu is not begging. Sio kuomba omba. He saying Lord you are great. Ni kusema Bwana wewe ni mkuu. Your mercy endureth forever. Fadhili zako ni za milele. Forever and ever. Milele na hata milele. For you are good. Kwani wewe ni mwema. Your mercy is forever. Fadhili zako ni za milele. Your mercy endureth forever. Fadhili zako ni za milele. Don't say what people say. Usiseme watu wanachokisema. Because the people don't know God how big he is. Kwa sababu watu wengi hawamjui Mungu jinsi alivyo mkuu. Say Lord Sema Bwana as by his revelation in your heart. Kulingana na ufunuo wake. Why do I say this? Mbona nasema hivi? Because I will say only how much I know him. Kwa sababu nitasema tu kile kulingana na jinsi ninavyomjua yeye. Seek to know him. Tafuta kumjua yeye and you will worship him accordingly. Nawe utamwabudu kulingana. I was in the bus. Nilikuwa ndani ya basi coming from Eastlands to town kutoka maeneo ya mashariki kwenda mjini reaching Karoleni here kufika hapa Karoleni matatu overtook us matatu ikatupita fast tena kwa kasi and the woman said oh lord jesus mwanamke akasema e yesu in front ameketi mbele i found myself saying amen mimi nikajikuta najibu amina She was worried the the people are going to, to die but yeye yeah, alikuwa ameshtuka watu watakufa and i said how did i do it na nikajiuliza because when she mentioned jesus kwa sababu alipomtaja yesu my heart says my kind is here moyo wangu unasema aina yangu yuko hapa no wonder this matatu could not kill people sio ajabu matatu hii haingeweza kuua watu because a child of god said Jesus. Kwa sababu mtoto wa Mungu akamuita Yesu. We were one time here. Wakati mmoja tulikuwa hapa. We attend back there, attend. Tulikuwa kwenye hema pale kando, kwenye shule. People got so filled with the Lord Spirit. Watu wakajazwa sana na roho. Two of them caught a matatu here going to umoja. Wawili wao wakaingia matatu hapa kaloleni wakienda nyumbani umoja. When the real salvation army there. Walipofika hapa salvation army two young men stood up with pistols wakora wawili vijana wakainuka na bastola they told the driver stop wakaambia driver simama one of you get all your wallets on your hand nyote toweni mikoba yenu mkononi or else you are dead la sivyo mmekufa 
Those young men who are saying from here they reach there. Hawa vijana waliokuwa wametoka hapa kufika pale. They said Jesus. Walikuwa wanamuita wakamuita Yesu. They called loud. Wakamuita kwa sauti. Jesus. Yesu. When they saw the pistols, walipoziona zile bastola, they had come from here. Walikuwa wametoka hapa. And the word which was in their mouth is Jesus. Neno lililokuwa mdomoni mwao ilikuwa ni Yesu. Those men began to shake. Wale wakora wakaanza kutetemeka. They jumped out. Wakaruka wakatoka nje. And the driver went. Wakatoroka dereva akaenda zake. In heaven I don't want to see Michael Angel. Mbinguni sitaki kumuona malaika Mikaeli. I want to see my savior. Nataka kumuona mwokozi wangu. I may, I can see Moses later. Musa anaweza kumuona baadaye. I can see Elijah later next week. Elijah anaweza kumuona wiki ijayo baadaye. But in Yesu! heaven. Lakini mbinguni. I want to see Jesus. Nataka kumuona Yesu. And in this church, na hapa kanisani. We are like the Greeks. Si ni kama wa Yunani. They came to see Jesus. Walikuja kumuona Yesu. They found Philip. Wakamkuta Filipo. He was one of those 12. Alikuwa mmoja wa wale 12. And Jesus was preaching. Yesu alikuwa akihubiri. People were many. Watu walikuwa wengi. These Greeks were philosophers. Hawa Yunani walikuwa wa salfasa. They said you are like one of his disciples. Wakamwambia tuona wewe ni kama mmoja wa wanafunzi. He said yes I'm, I am among the 12. Kasema ndio mimi ni mmoja wa wale 12. We want to see Jesus. Tunataka kumuona Yesu. We want Tunataka kumuona Yesu. Say I want to see Jesus. Sema nataka kumuona Yesu. A friend of mine who is going to be with the Lord. Rafiki yangu ambaye ameenda kuwa na Bwana. An Anglican bishop. Askofu muanglikana. From Uganda. Toka nchi ya Uganda. He received us in his area. Akatupokea kwenye eneo lake. To preach the Pentecostal message. Kuhubiri injili ya Pentecoste. Festo Kivengere jina lake Festo Kivengere He went to Makerere University to preach. Kaenda kwenye chuo cha Makerere kuhubiri. Many people were there. Watu wengi wakawa pale. The students clapped. Wanafunzi wakampigia makofi. Others danced. Wengine wakacheza. When they came out, walipotoka nje, an elderly woman was there. Kuna mama mzee alikuwa pale. She came to his car. Akuja kwenye gari lake. She told him, "Preacher." Akamuuliza, akamwambia mwili. "You preach so well. Umehubiri vizuri sana." "Eh, preach so well." "Umehubiri vizuri." You know good vocabulary good English. Anajua lugha safi, misamiati inayofaa. But I didn't see Jesus. Lakini mimi sikumuona Yesu. The students were clapping. Wanafunzi walimpigia makofi. Teachers were clapping. Wahubiri wakapiga makofi. Because of great preaching. Lakini kwa, kwa sababu ya mahubiri makofi. This woman did the, she missed whom she came to see. Huyo mwanamke akamkosa aliyekuja kuona. I didn't see Jesus. Mimi sikumuona Yesu. First on held there by the car and begged her to pray for him. First wakapiga magoti kando ya gari akamuomba amuombe. And she said, "Lord, na akasema Bwana, make him show the people you." Mfanye awaonyeshe watu wewe. When that man testified, he testified with tears. Huyu Bwana alipotuhudia akatoa ushuhuda kwa machozi. People want to see who Watu wataka kumuona nani? They want to see who? Wataka kumuona nani? This week, Juma hili has begun with seeing him. Limeanza na kumuona yeye. He is here. Yuko hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. And now he will continue to reveal himself. Na ataendelea kujidhihirisha to each one of you. Kwa kila mmoja wewe in a special way. Tena kwa njia maalum. I want to see Jesus. Nataka kumuona Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Our testimony. Ninao shuhuda. Mrs. Kayo Rose. Mama and her husband me. Na mume wake mzee. We have not slept hungry since the coronavirus began. Tangu corona ianze hawajawahi kulala njaa. We have never written any messages on How do you call these things you send away? Wala kumwandikia yote arafa fupi. 
kwa WhatsApp eh kwa uh, we need money eti tuahitaji pesa somebody in england mtu kutoka uingereza was blessed here so much aliyebarikiwa hapa sana he lives in england anaishi uingereza believe you me heri waamini He sent me 90,000 Kenya shillings. Kanitumia pesa za Kenya 1,000. And I shook. Katetemeka. I switch on my telephone. Nikazima simu yangu. And I switch on on again to to make sure. Kisha nikaiwasha tena ili nihakikishe. To make sure. Nihakikishe kwamba ni kweli. Then I switch it on again to make sure. Kaiwasha tena kuhakikisha. Nikahakikisha ni kweli ametuma 1000 tisini. 